Hey, 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 I'm back again today. Like, share, and subscribe. Come on in and catch my vibe. Come on in and catch this vibe, y'all. Come on up in here. I'm not a happy camper today. So I went and got me, um, me and my husband, well, not my husband, but I went and got glasses a couple weeks ago, y'all. And I went to go pick one. My husband went and picked them up yesterday, and they was all wrong. And uh, let me say my prayer. And they was all wrong, y'all. The prescription, what I think is the bifocal that they put in there, it wasn't, uh, well, here they go. Just, oh, just all regular pair of glasses, y'all. Just, uh, you know, just so that I could wear them to work. But the problem is this bifocal that they put in there is down too far. I mean, it didn't come up enough. You understand what I'm saying? I, uh, in order for me to see out these glasses, I had to push them up over my eyebrows. And I mean that literally. And so when I took them back in there to the people, they basically told me that I had to accept them the way that they was and give my eyes a chance to adjust, which is further from the truth. And so it got a little ugly in there. I might put the clip in here. I don't know. You know what I'm saying? Because I ain't trying to be like that on YouTube. But again, I'm, when I'm spending my money, I don't play no games. You give me what I pay for. If, you, if it ain't right, then they said they don't do refunds. Okay, if you don't do refunds, all I want you to do is fix it. I really don't want a refund. I just want you to fix my glasses so that I can wear them and see what I need to see. You know, is that too much to ask? You know, I'm getting sick and tired of these establishments around here taking your money, doing a crappy job, thinking that you're supposed to accept that. I'm going to start busting heads again. <laughs> Look, I'm... <laughs> I'm going to have to start doing a little something, something. You know what I'm saying? When you try to be nice and you go to legal route, you know it's always a procedure. You know what I'm saying? Things, COVID hold everything up. You know what I'm saying? Let me crack my little crab leg. I mean, crab leg. My uh, lobster tail. It's just a whole mess. You know what I'm saying? I got a little... Uh, and I, record, I recorded the whole thing. You talking about the uh, prescription and the thing was spot on. It ain't spot on if I can't see out of them. I got my glasses on that I normally wear, and I can see the whole, I can read a whole page. But with your glasses on, I can just read a paragraph. How that make, make that make sense? And then the, uh, the manager lady, she was so nasty. I'm like, y'all. I said, well, I'll be contacting my lawyer. She said, good luck with that. Also, she, man, I don't know, she done been down this road before. I don't know what, who you was dealing with before, but you got the right one today. You got the right one. I'm hungry. I'm so hungry. Y'all. I was so angry and upset at first. You know what I'm saying? I was. And I'm still upset about it. That don't make no sense. You should get what you pay for. I'm telling you, the nail place did a crappy job on my nails. I got I'm supposed to accept that. But you're supposed to give me a discount. I'm supposed to be happy. No, how about you do redo it and do it right? Or don't charge me at all. It's not that I'm trying to get something for nothing. Never that. I want to pay for whatever it is that I get, but I want to pay, I want to get what I pay for. Nothing more, nothing less. You know, these people around here got some monkey balls. You know what I'm saying? Around here thinking that you're supposed to accept whatever it is. I guess they're so used to many people just accepting bull crap and less than. And then nobody gonna do nothing. I don't know what she did. I look like I didn't have no money. Did I look like the type of person that was gonna let you get away with three hundred and some dollars? I don't care how much you don't think. It might not be a lot to you, but it's a lot to me. I don't care if it was ten dollars. If I paid you for it, I expect to get what I paid for. Period. That's all. I ain't trying to get over on nobody, but I'm tired of people trying to get over on me. People with these businesses, they get you order stuff, stuff from them, and it ain't what it, uh, uh, the advertisement is or whatever. And they think, oh, you supposed to just accept it. You know, I'm not, uh-uh. Time out for all of that. You know what I'm saying? We don't live in that time no more. People are doing stuff to You know what I'm saying? People, <laughs> mm -mm. we ain't doing that. Let me put that up. What is that? Ugh. You know what I'm saying? We, we ain't doing it. I ain't doing it. I don't know if somebody else might be doing it, but I ain't doing it. I told y'all there's two things I'll play about. My money, my kids. It might be something else, but I can't remember right at this moment. But whatever it is, I don't play about it. You didn't play about it, and now it's not a good, it's not a good look or a good fit for either one of us. 
Them other people was in there looking at me. Now, I wasn't trying to uh, start nothing up in there, but shoot. I would have walked out of there if I was them. You do you got a disgruntled, you got a customer in here unhappy about something that they bought from you, and you gonna tell them, uh, you just gotta accept what it is. No, you gotta get your eyes time to adjust. I don't have to get my time's eyes eyes to adjust to anything. I've I've got many glasses before and walked right out of the eye clear eyeglass place and was able to see and wear my glasses. And then they talking about, she said that we don't, I told her, just give me a refund. We don't do refunds. Hmm. This was a place my husband picked out. He took his daughter there. And, uh, I guess she was happy with her glasses, but and that's okay. Some people probably, you know, cool with it, but I'm not. I'm a dishappy, unhappy customer, unsatisfied. And I think they should have made it right. But instead, she tried to give me her behind the kiss. And for that, I'm not going to let it ride. I got to show her. I'm going to teach these people a lesson. You're going to be in business. Do business right. You know, do business the correct way. You know, special spouse, I cook in the oven. You know, put a little Parmesan cheese on it. I ain't looking good, but it it tastes good. Okay, I just put it on here. Okay, got a little lobster over here. Made me a little butter sauce. I am hungry, y'all. I am. I just can't believe the nerve of these people these days. I mean, y'all, y'all make that make sense for me. Y'all, I know y'all the one got some eyeglasses. How many times you walked out of eyeglass plan with some glasses that you couldn't see out of, and they told you that you need to adjust your eyes to them? How does that make any sense? Make it make sense. Okay, okay, Sally. Mmm. Mmm, mmm, mm. I was looking for some shrimp in the bottom of my freezer. Deep freezer. But I didn't see it. I saw these first, so I just grabbed them. They the cuz into the shrimp. So what they do? Shrimp and, uh, that's real tender. Shrimp and uh, asparagus. And so, I went on to read the reviews. I said, let me go on this side and read the reviews. And uh, Lord and behold...
some kind of butterfly Baby, you give me a good night You whip up my appetite And I'm having to take these glasses and have them fixed if I want to wear them. Mind you, like, I didn't, I ain't even got the second pair if I didn't already say that. The way I showed out in there, she told me she was going to mail them to me. Huh? Mm hmm. Because I went in there being nice. You know, I was just wanting them to fix it. That's all I wanted. There's so much going on, you know, people just doing the most nowadays. Not only that, but we ladies in relationships with a good man. If you got a good man, why would you allow your children to be disrespectful to that husband that's taking care of you and your kids? Make it make sense. Make it make sense. You got a man that's out here hustling and bustling, working two or three jobs to provide for you and your family, your kids, because... He don't have any. Why would you allow your child to be disrespectful to that man? Why would you choose your your child? And this and, 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 and my, must I say that we know that minor children, you know, a husband roles a husband role. Children in role have a different role. They need to know they role and play their roles. You understand what I'm saying? I ain't telling you to put no man before your kids. Or to put your husband before your kids. What I'm telling you is to have respect in your household with the adults and the children present. Especially if you don't work or barely work or, or struggling and you got somebody good to come in and, and help you out financially. And you want to dog them out and laugh at them and, you know, let your kids treat them any old kind of way. And then, you know, minor, I don't, you know, minor children, adult children, especially adult children. Uh, if you got adult children disrespectful to your mate that should be, shouldn't even be in the home. Let's just be clear, dear. They shouldn't even be in the home, as Asia said. Let's be clear, dear. I didn't get that from her. So I'll be talking about people be biting and copying and all that. Yes, I did. Okay. Ooh, that was so good. Make it make sense. You allow allowing your children, your grown children, to run the household. They ain't paying a darn bill in the house. But you still giving them money as if they are teenage kids or a kid. They need to be having a job. You, know, you understand what I'm saying? And if you're scared of your kids, they definitely should be in the household with you. Put them out. Call the police. Do whatever it is you got to do. Shoot them in the toe, in the butt, in the arm, or wherever. Let them know you mean business. I don't care. You think I would ever have one of my children stay with me, disrespectful to me, talking back to me, making my life a living hell in my own house where I pay the bills at? Oh, no. You got to go. If you want to get feisty, then I'm going to get feisty with you. Okay? 
And if I can't whip you, I can sure knock you down with something. Okay? Since you want to go that route with me, your mama, you know your parents, and since you, if they, if they want to go that route with you and, and, and want to buck up at you like they're going to do something to you, so sit them down. Yeah, because you ain't, first of all, they ain't got to be in your household. You got to be retarded. You got to be retarded to allow blatant disrespect to somebody that's provided and taking care of your sorry ass. Anybody watching this, if you feel like I'm talking to you, maybe I am. Because maybe this applies to you. If it don't apply, let it fly. But if this is you, you need to you check yourself. Because you're about to wreck yourself. Every dog has its day. Remember, what you reap, you sow. What you do unto others, it's going to come back on you. You might not have be having a good life. You might be going through something. You might be always sick at the doctor's office or... Uh, 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 things don't go right for you. You wonder why? Because you allow such madness to go on in your household. And you know it's not right. You treat people the way you want to be treated. You allow, you tell your children to treat people that's providing for them and taking care of them and trying to help you and them out with some respect. Damn it. And then you got some women up here laying up on their little nasty, sorry ass. Why don't even get up and clean their nasty ass house up? It's trifling. A man got to come home from a hard day's work and look at a nasty ass house. Go figure. Now you think you somebody. You think you somebody. Because you know the next one won't do that shit for you. Probably won't be a next one. You'd be by your damn self. Because ain't nobody going to deal with that but another sorry ass like yourself. Got your kids out here being disrespectful. Blatant disrespect. Won't help do a darn thing around the house. <coughs> Everything that come in the door, they got their hands on it like they didn't pay for it. Whew, how dare you? Couldn't be me. I wouldn't even allow no man to treat me like that or to have his children disrespect me. And the, furthermore, I would let the kid know. I would let, the, you know, not a kid, but the, I'm talking about a grown-up, y'all. I ain't really, I ain't talking about speaking on no children because we know children, you know, you can talk to kids. You know, because for first of all, you know, it starts when they're young. You train them when they're young. You understand me? You know what I'm saying? Then when you, you know, you, you, you meet somebody and they come into your household, you know, I understand that a lot of times people have problems because they, they ain't they daddy and they don't, you know what I'm saying? But listen here, your daddy ain't there for whatever reason. If he was a sorry ass, you know what I'm saying? He left you and don't take care of you, don't do nothing for you, you should be glad he gone. And somebody else has stepped up and stepped in there to do what he didn't do, should have been doing from the get. You know. You need some medicine. You're crazy. You something wrong with you. Man, I know somebody. I know somebody. I know a couple people like that. No, uh huh. You can't even tell your own kids nothing. They kids will be trying to fight you. Hmm. Mm-mm. <coughs> grown. Did y'all hear me say grown? Now, what grown man or woman should be in your house disrupting your marriage and your household when they shouldn't even be there in the first place? Why don't they got their own place? You're hindering them from being whoever whoever it is that they're supposed to be because you're an enabler. You're allowing them to be nothing and nobody. You know what I'm saying? To let a grown woman or man be in their 30s living at home with no job and thinking they're supposed to get allowances every week. That is ridiculous. Ridiculousness at its finest. Well, 
Well, I hope that man get enough balls and gumps and decide that he want to leave you. I don't care how much he say he might love you. Ain't no love. That ain't love. That's stupidity. That's outright taking advantage of somebody. You think you got you a sucker or a fool, but listen here. You ain't, you the fool. You the darn fool for messing up your good thing. Let another woman come by and see how good he is. You won't have him no more. You be over there crying in your little shack. Wishing he was still there. And can't get him back. I'm just saying. Lazy. You know what I'm saying? Lazy. Won't cook, won't clean. Won't do nothing. They expect somebody to they always give you their money, give you their time, take care of your grown ass kids, you know, do everything for them, and then and all they can do is be blatantly disrespectful. Mm mm. Mm mm. Why should anybody like you? I'm sure you probably don't care if you like this, but you should care. To trifling ass. Somebody should tell you. You got a damn friend. They should be a step up and be a, a, a real friend and tell you that shit ain't cool. That ain't cool at all. You look like a damn fool. You look like a fool. And that man is a damn fool. Because I've been, I done been to the left your ass a long time ago. Mm-hmm. My goodbye game is tight these days. I will not put up nor accept anything that I don't want to anymore. And I'm telling you, I've accepted some stuff early in my younger years that I wouldn't dare accept today. You're not going to talk to me any kind of way. You're not going to treat me any kind of way because I'm not your child. I'm your mate. I'm your partner. We in this thing together. You know what I'm saying? What does, what does it, what sense does it make to work two or three jobs and you ain't got shit to show for it? Not a damn thing, but that. You work, he work. He work two or three jobs and you work, barely work a job. You know what I'm saying? Because you damn near to probably don't even go to work. You know what I'm saying? You got the nerve to be nasty and allow somebody else to treat your husband or spouse nasty. And I'm saying spouse because it has to be a husband. Because a boyfriend, if I, if you just a boyfriend and you, and you do it, the shame on you. You know how they say it, shame on you once. You can fool me one time, but you ain't going to do it again. Or you going to get me once, you ain't going to get me no more. And then how you think that person's family, if, it, if they is in this ear, they should be in this ear. Tell them to hurry up and run like hell away from you. Every chance they get. Till he gone. Hmm. That was that. Y'all hate for a person to take advantage. You know what I'm saying? Just because they think they can. Just because somebody is kind to you. You know, just because, you know, somebody is kind-hearted. Loving, they they take, they might take a lot. They might go through a lot. You know, especially if you know that a person has already been through something in their life. Don't they deserve to be happy now? Don't they deserve to be happy with the person that they with? Don't they deserve your all from them instead of your ass, to, your big ass, stinking ass to kiss? Whew. Y'all just grinds my gears. And of course, I, I know y'all can hear it in my voice. And, you know, because I, I, I'm speaking about them because I actually do know somebody like that. I truly do. Several people. To be honest with you. You got men out here hustling and busting out here. Take care of woman. Same scenario. Out here, she's still around here. Won't do nothing. You know what I'm saying? Don't appreciate it. Around here messing with the ex. 
or whoever, you know what I'm saying? Think he a joke and all that stuff. It, it'll be a joke when he gone from you and you, you, you miss, you know, cause you don't miss that good thing till it's gone. You know what I'm saying? You don't miss the, the water till the well run dry. You back out here struggling again and don't nobody else want you cause you're trifling and nasty. You know? Somebody go good, come in here, try to help you raise your children. You know, to be decent people, but, you know, hey, that's neither here nor there. That don't make no difference, do it? It's all about what all can I get out this man? What all will he do for me? And what all am I going to allow my children to take this man through, you fool, you? Y'all, I'm up out of here. Y'all have a wonderful, beautiful, blessed day. Peace. So, is it the top portion or the bottom portion? It's the bottom portion. Okay. Which is probably these, I think, I'm thinking that this is probably not wide enough down here at the bottom. Is it the same with the other pair? I don't have those yet. Where are they? Okay, I so see you just got one pair. Mm-hmm. Do you have the other pair? I will figure out. I'm just trying to, I didn't work with you, so I'm trying to catch up. But everything's really going on. Now you said you just got them last night. Mm -hmm. now, well, they're not spot on if I can't see out of them. That's sure. not spot on to me. What I have matches the file. The, um, but ma'am, I'm sitting here telling you that I can't see out of them. Right, and I have the lab read them. And I don't care what the lab says. I'm telling you that I can read this part right here, but I have a problem reading that up there. With these glasses on, I can see this whole page. With those glasses on, I can only see this right here. That's a problem. Okay, I can go get my manager. Go get them. Okay, I will. So basically what they're telling me is that I got to accept these glasses that I can't see out of. That's what I'm hearing here. That's not going to happen. I think the manager says she don't have time. She has just my concern. I'm not on phone. This is a crappy place. I care express. I would never, ever come here. Ever. Okay, so you're telling me that I got to... Not the same exact prescription. When I got these glasses, when I walk out of my, when I walk down the street, I can see out of them. Don't give them a call. I don't have to give them shit. You gonna give me my motherfucking money back? All right. Have a good day. You'll see. You're here from my lawyer. Okay. I'm not gonna accept something that I can't see out of. Okay. That's damn ridiculous. We'll ship you out of here. No, you're not gonna ship me shit. You gonna give me my motherfucking money back? Trust and believe that bitch. I'm gonna call my lawyer right now.